Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Buddies Forever. I am solo tonight because Gracie is sleeping. Last time we did um, Headmistress Bloodgood's Penthouse. And a shout out to the first on that video, which was Sam O'Hare 21. That was a lot of fun. Today we are going to do, I'm breaking up the terrace into two parts because we got Gloom and Bloom next. And here is Jacuzzi Shores. Just a strange little name I put together. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, where to begin? It's obviously Skull Shores. And it has a lot of fun things going on. It's a very cheerful area. But then again, all of them are cheerful. And what can I start with? I have Christmas lights up here. You who watch Super Buddies for a family that watch the series know that I finally finished that mural on the back of the wall. So it looks like the sky. This back here is just a piece of plywood, and then I put, they were placemats I got from the dollar store or something, or Ross, four for five dollars or something. I just spray painted those and glued those on for an interesting back fence. Those are Christmas lights in the back, obviously. They're just taped on with some electrical tape to keep them in place. And then we have all the Gloom and Bloom flowers and accessories are on display there. That wicker cabinet came with a set I had from long, long ago. I've left it as it is with the purple. Um, I think that's a really cute, cute display area because all that stuff is so wonderful. Coming out the door, we have Miss Cleo Denial, who's in, I don't know, I, I love this outfit. It's one of my favorite, most fun outfits. And uh, her shoes, I love these shoes. They're so cute. I just oh can't get enough of those ones. And of course, she's got the bell bottom 70s style. I have a feeling she's gonna fall over because I'm doing this one-handed. Oh, I got it. <laughs> um, I just love that bell bottomy high-waisted outfit, it's just too cute. Okay, let's not let her fall over. Okay, put it against there. So she looks wonderful there. Looks like she needs a little salon time though. Her hair is all poofing out. Then we have the Frankie, the two, two, I don't know what you call it, alter egos or you know how that story went. This would be the alter ego, which was one of Gracie's very, very first five or something dolls. She is super, super loose bodied. Gracie had even drawn all over her face and I was able to save it except for the black lips so I put some silver nail polish on it. Tidied up her hair in a salon time before I did salon times. So really glad we saved her. I think we did have to uh, find the shoes again. I don't think we had those but she had all the rest. And then the ties in the back was broken and I just put my own little ribbon on the back. Sewed it or glued it, I'm not sure which. But that still holds it together well. We have the other Frankie, the real Frankie, not the fake one, and she looks cute. She was um, bought secondhand on eBay. I think I got her outfit and her body separately. I'm pretty sure that's the way that went. I think I even got two of the same shoes, and I had to contact the seller, and he bought me, brought, sent me the right shoes, and it was just a manufacturing glitch. Some wonderful little flower arrangements all over here. Of course, this is the terrace gardens. So we got flowers everywhere that we can. All on there. Those are some little die cut things from Michael's with flower bursts on them. This is a Rebecca, I believe. I'm not sure which one this one is. Might have been a double she got. But I know her hand is messed up. We got somebody else's hand on there. And we hide that back there because we don't have the other one. She's got a cute little fashion pack outfit. And we have the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi comes from Fancy Life. It's called Sunshine Corner. And it came with a cart, which I'm not using anywhere as of yet. And that table that was over here in Blood Goods area, that came with it. And it seems like one other thing. Oh, the umbrella that we used for Monster High Exchange, Draculaura. It had some plain little green plastic flowers here. Of course, we took those all out when I added all this stuff. Look at the cute little gnome from Tan's Craft. Well, it, of course, was hand-painted. It was silver, just metal. All these little things match what we got going over here. 
It just goes along with all the flowers coming off of here. Gotta love that. I feel a little lost here without Gracie. Um, this is a button when you put water in it for real. You press it and it makes bubbles come out when you use real water. I'm of course not doing that. We got our straw. Otherwise this was the color it came in except for back here was like a blue. I spray painted that black. And then I did put an extra piece of wood on there and did my faux stone with caulking and the dry brushing techniques to give it a bigger, make it useful, useful for cocktails to sit on. And that's something I love about this series because they're all showing off their cocktails, which being the earlier series, they were, they were much to me better detailed and extras were pretty, uh, they were pretty generous with extras. This is an operetta. I believe she's a roller maze and Gracie had gotten, two people had gotten her the same one. So we just redressed her in some other clothes. Tied her hair up in a little half ponytail for cutesy. Miss Claudine. Well, let me say, this one Gracie had. Gulia, I did redo her hair before we did Salon Times. And she didn't have this, she had this doll Dracula, but not particularly this one. It was ruined, so I ended up getting a second one. The rest were all bought on auctions and eBay and stuff. I love having them. This one was a delight for me to get on eBay. Just she came with everything, all her shoes. I was so excited to gain her. Her hair was a mess. Laguna's hair always seems to go ratty, just like the old Barbie dolls do. But I think I did a good job on her hair, which is already falling out. I don't know if it doesn't hold styles, but she looks really good. Got her drink. Now for those who've seen my package opening know I treated myself to Mr. Gill from Skull Shores. He was a hard find. I had to break down. I think I paid 40 bucks for him. But he came, had all his fins, he had his shoes, he even had his necklace and his drink. And if you guys watch on eBay, you know that that silly little pineapple drink can go from 18 to $25. So I thought I did good. And while I'm there, let me do some shout out to some people who were on that video. And it was uh, Larissa Rourke, Garnet Universe, and Katie Madison. Shout outs to you three for watching and commenting. I appreciate it. And next we have, what do we have here? Abby. Abby was also a find from um, eBay. I won her on an auction. Fair price, nothing special, but it was nice that she came with all her bits. And, hmm, I guess that's some details of food and freshies to have while you're eating. Uh, oh, this was a cute find. This was a Barbie bag, and I wanted these. were going to be in the beach, and then we got kind of split it up. Beach, pool, and jacuzzi was all kind of going to, I broke it all up, and anyway, that's why they all have bags. And this was some Barbie bag that was cute. Everything that was black was, <clears throat> excuse me, dark blue, but I hand painted it black so it would match as if Operetta has her stuff. It's not really much going on otherwise in here, only on my little skull. That reminds me because I always get Skull Shores and the uh, Loom Beach mixed up. Artificial grass, I've shown you how to do that. I will say, if you ever do artificial grass, it looks grass, it looks great, but... It doesn't, the dolls don't stand very well on it at all. They tend to tip. You got to get them balanced just right on there. I think that's about summing that up. Oh, and these were from Cleo's 13 Wishes Oasis. I just got those separately. I didn't want the Oasis because I already had a jacuzzi, so I didn't need another one. And well, that really sums it all up. I'm going to do um, an extra shout out for Sam O'Hare and show a picture of a bunch of you lovelies that cracked me up today, this morning. Thank you all for the shout out count, count ups. They just, shout out count ups, the count offs that she's doing in the comments, they just absolutely delight my day. And we had like four or five in 25 seconds. And Sam O'Hare, 21, got it. So this is a double shout-out video for him. Hope you all have a great, great, wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And if you have any questions, obviously leave comments. Thank you so much for being part of our SPF family. And next we will get on to Gloom and Bloom. 
every one of you is such a treat. Thank you so much. Sam O'Hare 21 got it. Congratulations.